Hi again, it's Alex for Nuvius. If you're going to be developing anything larger than a Hello World, you need to stay organized. Today I will show you how you can keep your native script app organized. I've already created a basic Hello World app and converted it to TypeScript. I've also hidden any extraneous files that I don't need to see during development, such as JavaScript files and node modules folder, etc. You can check out my other video on minimizing clutter during native script development. I'm going to go ahead and run this app in the iOS simulator just to show you what it's doing. As you can see, this is just a Hello World app. It allows us to tap this button and see the counter go down. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand this sample and add a little bit more functionality just to show you how to get organized. Back in Visual Studio Code, I have my main page my main page XML, my view model, and my app, and my CSS, all in the same folder. Under the main app folder, I'm gonna create a few more folders. The style folder is gonna keep our CSS, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag app.css into the style folder. Next, I'm going to create a pages folder. This is where all the pages are going to live. And I'm going to create a subfolder called main. I'm going to drag mainpage.ts and mainpage.xml into the main folder. And I'm also going to create a common folder. This is where just uh, global shared objects are going to live, such as the main app.ts file. And I'm also going to create a view models folder. Here I'm also going to create a main folder and drag the main view model in there. Right now it may seem like I've just created more mess because there's more folders to keep track of. However, as your application grows, you want things to be a little bit more organized like this where you can easily find where you have pages, where you have your view models, where you have your styles. If I run the application right now, it's not going to work. And the reason for that is because these modules are not going to be found. For example, if I go to pages and mainpage.ts, you can see that Visual Studio Code is not able to find that module, main view model. I need to help Visual Studio find these modules. So I'm going to start with app.ts. In app.ts, we have a main module declaration, which is looking for main page. It's not going to find it anymore. It needs to be under pages slash main main page because that's where we put main page. And same thing with the CSS file. It's going to be under style slash app.css. If you take a look, there's that file. And I'm done with app.ts. If you look at main page.ts, we're going to see that main view model can't be resolved. And we're going to help it find it. First, I'm going to expand view models and main. There it is right there. So I need to back out one directory, two directory, view models slash main. There it is. One more thing we need to do is in package.json, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to point it to common app.js. Let's try running this and see what happens. Okay, we're good to go. I'm going to quit that. Control C here. Clean things up. So now we have things in their proper silos. And I want to go ahead and add just one more page to demonstrate navigation between two pages. Under pages, I'm going to create another folder called page two. Now we have a main page and a page two page. Under page two, I'm going to create page two.ts. And I'm also going to create page2.xml. I'm not going to bore you with typing everything out, so I'm going to copy and paste into here. Basically, page2 navigates back to main page with a button click. Under view models, I'm going to have a page2 view model as well. So under view models, create a new folder called page2. And similarly here, I'm going to have a new file called page2 view model .ts. 
Okay, we also have a reference to common slash nav. I'm going to go ahead and create that. And this is going to be a shared object that allows me to navigate between pages. Under common, I'm going to create one called nav.ts and paste in this code. Nav.ts allows me to use frame module to navigate from one page to another. Okay, it's getting a little bit crowded here. So I'm going to close all these files. I also want to navigate from main page to page two. And to do that, I'm going to need to add a button here in the main page XML. This button allows us to navigate to page two. In the TypeScript file, I need a function. Or rather, in the main view model, I need a function that's going to be data bound to navigate to page two. This one's pretty simple, so I'll type it out. Public go to page two. We need to reference the nav module here as well. There's our nav module, and I'm going to ask it to go to page two for me. And we're ready to run this app. Now, before I do that, I just want to show you how much more organized everything looks. If I collapse all these folders, all you see is the top level folders for common pages, style and view models. Now I'm going to go ahead and run the app. There's our app, our tab still works the same way it did. Now we can navigate to page two, we have a back option, we can go to page two, and we can go to main page from there as well. And our state for 32 taps is still kept in the view model. So everything works just as expected. And you can imagine that when you make a large application, you're going to want to have your pages separated out, you're going to have your view models, and it depends on what pattern you're following, you might have an MVC pattern, or you might have an MVVM pattern, you will keep everything separated into different folders. Well, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this tip on keeping things organized in native script. Be sure to check out my other videos here as well for tips, tricks and tutorials.